Are you still on the fence about deciding if you're going to get the Battle Pass for Season 9? Well, today we're going to be going over this bundle right here, which has the Beholder and the Harbringer. But we're going to be going over, more specifically, the Beholder Sigma skin and deciding if this is going to be worth it or not. So looking at this skin in our locker, we can see some really cool things on here. It has a lot of Cthulhu-inspired vibes going on. So the first thing I want to point out is this cloak that he's wearing. And this is actually stitched together with a lot of different fabrics. So there's a lot of browns, a lot of different like just kind of tan colors to put this together to kind of give it that worn down like cult leader vibe, honestly. And on the outside, we actually get some really cool golden and purple trim. So the, the trim of the cloak itself is a nice bluish purple. And we have some ornate gold details that actually are a little asymmetrical, I believe. Yeah, they're actually asymmetrical on the side. And if you're into that type of stuff, this is right up your alley. Because I am of the upbringing of that not everything has to be symmetrical. So I love when we get like these disheveled skins like this that just have the asymmetrical vibe like right here around the bottom of the cloak is fantastic. I love the big stitches we get in here. You get some nice little gaps and holes. It looks great. The feet! Them dogs are dirty. Like nasty dirty and that's a little scary. But we do have these like weird little things that somehow I don't know how Sigma got these on his ankles. Like he must have just gotten those on when he was a baby and grew into them because there's no way that that was on here this again we have some like copper little rings and these actually have some more golden ornate details on it with some like little like keychain type things and right here the little groin cloth as i'm going to call it is the same exact materials the same exact pattern except this one is a little bit more symmetrical except for the tiny little dots right here on the side and on the belt it kind of again looks like that cthulhu inspired things we have some tentacles we even have an eye in the middle and it's uh, these really cool golden ornate details again the chest is exactly the same right here, except we don't have these little squiggly lines. Instead, we just have the big ornate details, and we have some golden buttons on the side. And on the chest, we even have another little crest that has, it looks like the Illuminati eye right there on the chest. It's kind of like a triangle sticking out, and that looks really cool. And if we can just go ahead and take another little spin, obviously, we got to bring up the giant octopus on the shoulder so this one actually has an octopus or a, this might just be a squid because it has a beak and it looks really cool so it actually has the jiggle physics on there so little things can jiggle the eyeball and the thing and everything jiggles it's that nice purple color to actually complement the blue purple this is a lot more purple purple with some light purple like details on the side so it has the tentacle holding up an eyeball with a little blue pupil on the inside and i'm just double checking here yeah the eyes are both the exact same that's really cool. I love how we have some gold, like some little ghastly purple eyes in the beak. It just looks really cool. And again, we have the same ornate details, like keychain looking things, as on his like little braces on his kneecaps. But the kneecaps also, the little circle brass bracelets also go on the arms and the wrist. And on the wrist, we actually have two different versions. So one right here, we have a little bit more of a gemstone type-esque thing a little vibe going on and this actually has it looks to be like a beak and i thought at first this was a tentacle but this does look more beaky and sharp that we have on the beak of the octopus and it just looks really cool so they if you look at the hand it actually looks exactly like the feet where it's just the tips of it are very dirty and it almost looks like a corpse so it looks like the fingernails and the nails in general are just blacked out like he honestly punched something and it, it hurt really bad but, you know, that's a lot of the big parts of the skin. And then the other brace, we have these cool little, like, it honestly looks like some orbs of mystical magic going on. And it's, again, the same exact color as, it. this looks like a combination of the octopus and the bottom bearings of the cloak down here. And it's just floating, so they're actually floating above the thing, so they're not attached at all, which actually is really cool. And then we even have some more ornate details on the side. But the coolest thing, in my opinion has got to be this mask. We actually do not see Sigma's face in this, and this gives it a lot more of a cult leader vibe than a normal Sigma skin. So all the other Sigma skins, except for a couple, I believe, you can actually see the face in every single one. So this is a very cool take on the skin itself where we actually get a really cool mask. And this one actually has a frowny face. It just, it looks fantastic. Like honestly, this is a really cool skin. But last but not least, we have another one of these like floating ball orbs on the back surrounded by more of a Cthulhu inspired octopus at this point. So this one actually looks a lot more menacing than the ones on the shoulder. Like the ones on the shoulder have the beaks and that's cool. But this one actually has those tentacles that covers the face like the normal Cthulhu type-esque thing. And we have some like tentacles all over it. We even have some tentacles on the top that aren't really attached to anything. Like they're kind of just there. 
Uh, same thing goes with this one right here. It's not really attached to anything. It's not attached to the actual Cthulhu thing at all. It's just kind of there holding the ball up. But this one actually has more of a dark essence inside than the ones on this wrist right here. But this is cool. The, the skin itself is so cool. And now let's take a look at the actual orbs themselves a little bit closer. And that is fantastic. So if you notice, the, the actual eyeball inside is the exact same one that we actually have on the shoulder right here. So this exact same eye that we see on the thing except on the inside of these eyes instead of it being kind of like a glassy uh that we see right here like a normal eye this actually has those dark like essences inside of it so it kind of is like a little swirly it's just metallic it looks really cool and we even have the golden orbs themselves without having to actually spend your little credits to actually get these gold they're really cool and we even have some these like little tentacles don't look to be like squishy just because the orbs do move as you can see it right here so they are metallic and actually like welded on there pretty much but these look fantastic i love the way that these swirl together that looks great all right well let's go through some highlight intros now we have accretion kinetic grasp attraction those fingernails are kind of ugh and then what comes up And then now for some emos, we have Dance. Constellation. Stepping Stones. Magic Pumpkins. Inconsequential. Laugh. Relaxation. Applause. And finally, observations. Now for the victory poses, we have postulating, levitating rocks, pumpkin, observations, poised, relaxation, metal, toast, drake egg, and finally, maestro. And up next, we have some weapon charms. And honestly, I don't really think we care about these, but we're just going to kind of scroll through them a little bit. And that's kind of just what it looks like up close on the wrist itself. Same thing with the souvenirs. They don't really do anything other than look different. But I love the animation right there. So we'll, we'll do that again just so you can kind of see it. It kind of snaps that little ball up top and gives us that really cool essence vibe. Voice lines don't matter. These don't matter. And then right here is the weapon variant. So it used to only be gold, but we actually got jade finally. So let's go through and look at what gold does. I honestly don't have high expectations for this just because it's already gold. So I don't really know what's going to happen. Literally, literally nothing. Quite literally, the only thing it does is add a sparkle to it. Now, what about the jade? I'm actually kind of hyped for this. Uh, that actually looks horrible with, this, uh, with the color combination. That looks terrible. Yeah, I, I, I don't vibe with that. And this is actually what it looks like when we actually select him in the game. And he looks super menacing and freaky right here. That looks fantastic. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. You can see a lot more skin, like details up close. Oh, look at that. That is literally the Illuminati out on his chest. That is so cool. All right, let's go ahead and take this out in game. And as you can see, the little balls right there are already so golden that you don't even need to get the golden version of it. Like, that looks so much better in game. That look, You can see the reflections on the actual ball themselves. So as we move, you can kind of see the reflections going around. That looks so cool. I love that. And then the eye just rotates. And it's, it kind of looks a little creepy because it's kind of like vibrating so weird. Oh, and those fingers are so dirty. The for, uh, dirty fingernail is so gross. I, 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 man, that's crazy. But you can see the thing right there. You can see the little eyeball on the inside of the palm. And I honestly didn't pick that up in the locker view. So that looks really cool. And again, you can see the really big brace right here. So this is actually what it looks like when we actually stick up the shield. So you can see some more of the hand right here. We can actually see the fingernails right here and some more like blue glowing out of the fingers as well. And on the brace on the left hand, it, it honestly, you can't really tell that it's different than the one on the right. But again, we do have some more cool ornate details. So this is what it looks like when we actually shoot the balls. And I love that animation of them actually regaining it. It's like they're pulling apart from each other as a black hole. That looks fantastic. All right, so what does it look like when we actually put up our vortex? Okay, again, and we actually have that little thing on the palm with the other hand as well that looks fire. What about the rock? You can see the braces for a slight second. That's about it. All right, let's do a little emote just so we can see this in-game. Yeah, he looks really cool. Like, that is that is a very good skin. And he's huge. Like, it, this is just so 
different than all the other Sigma skins. It, it's very, very cool. I love that. Potential wasted. Potential wasted. All right, let's see what happens when we hit this. The universe sings to me. Okay, so it is exactly the same as the normal ult, so that's a little sad, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of hoping that we get something really cool. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, it's literally the same thing. Same thing. So we don't get a unique voice line for this. That's a little sad, I'm not going to lie. Well, we've been over everything with Sigma because there's really not too much to go over in-game. So let's talk about this. So I want to talk about some negatives first. I don't have any. The only negative I have is that this is locked behind that $40 paywall because I know that is a steep price to pay for a battle pass. Like, let's let's be real about this. If you're going to use this skin, like, if you don't have any other really cool Sigma skins, then this might be a little hard to actually get. But I truly think this is one of the best Sigma skins they have ever created. And I have a ton of Sigma skins. So, like, it, this looks fantastic. I, I absolutely love this. Positives? It's fantastic. Like, genuinely, uh, this is so much more different than a lot of the other Sigma skins. Because, like I said, all the other Sigma skins, you can see the face. I love that this one takes a little bit different, a different approach and actually gives us a mask on this. It's it's fantastic. Like, genuinely, I, I can't applaud them more for what they've done. I will say a, a, ne a negative, though. So, back to that. Um, no unique voice lines. That sucks just a little bit. Because you would expect for this type of money to have at least somewhat of a unique voice line. Especially for it being a Battle Pass type skin, you'd think that it would have something unique about it. But it's not a Mythic, and it's not like a seasonal item, so like I guess I kind of get it, but it still sucks. But the, the details on this are fantastic. I, I love it. And I, Oh, uh, the punching animation here? Look at that. When you punch, you can see the balls on the wrist. That is... Yep, another plus. That's fantastic. So anyways, with with this being the $40 price tag, I know that sucks because that's going to price out a lot of people that would possibly be able to get this skin. However, comma, if you're willing to do that, plus the Battle Pass, plus the 2,000 credits, I think that this is honestly 100% worth it. This is, in my, in my humble opinion, as somebody that has bought almost every single Overwatch skin, this is is probably the best Sigma skin we have ever gotten. And I don't say that lightly because I love Sigma. Sigma is one of my favorite tanks and favorite characters in the game. So this is an, an amazing skin. And I, I absolutely think this is 100% worth it. So anyways, we're going to wrap up the video right here. Seriously, thank you so much for watching, studs. And I will see y'all later.